everyone, my name is Laura, and I am here to talk to you today about our favorite eye bag serum, Seabags. This helps to reduce the puffiness under your eyes and also eliminate some of those fine lines. And it is truly one of my favorite products. I love the way it works. I've tested it on hundreds of women and they have loved it too. And what I wanna do is I wanna address the proper application so that you guys can get the best results for your skin. And I want you to keep something in mind. Seabags is a little different for everybody. It really depends a lot on your own skin type. So I'm going to address the issues that people are experiencing so that you can tweak it for yourself like I have done for myself. I've had to find out just the right amount to use for me, um, how to apply it in layers with my other products, and um, how to get rid of like any white haze or flakiness or, or too much tightness, which are some of the questions that we get asked about. So um, the first thing I want you to know is that you should apply it on clean skin. Make sure your face is washed and clean. And then um, when you apply sea bags, you don't wanna use too much. You wanna take one pump on the palm of your hand to start with. I mean, nobody really needs more than one pump, I believe. So you want it, which is enough for both eyes. So you wanna take the product and you wanna put it underneath your eyes, just like this, on the baggy part, obviously. And you can wrap it around the eye a little bit too, where you, you have, might have a little bit of crow's feet. You can wrap it around the eye. After you apply it, you need to let it dry. Don't go rubbing it around. You do not have to rub this in. You can leave it wet. You need to leave it wet. Leave it wet, let it sink in. It takes about five minutes to dry. You will experience some tightness. That's normal, that see you back to working and you, you, it's good that it feels tight. And um, once it dries, you may have a little bit of white haze, which I'm gonna show you how to combat that in the right after this is dry. You might have a little bit of flakiness. Sometimes that's because you've used too much. Remember, you wanna use just the right amount and you'll have to learn that over time. So I'm gonna let this dry, stay tuned, and I'll be back in five minutes and show you how to apply your moisturizer and your foundation properly over CFX. Okay, so I'm back. I've let CFX dry uh, fully before I'm going on to my next step, which is my moisturizer. So now when I apply my moisturizer over Sia bags, what I do is I don't rub, I dab and press. That's what I call it, dabbing and pressing. So I put my moisturizer on, when I put it under my eyes, I dab. I just dab and I press it into the skin gently. I don't rub it, I don't move it around, I just kind of dab it. And then for the rest of your face, you could just put your moisturizer on the way that you normally would do. But when it comes down to the eyes, think dabbing, pressing. That's my little trick there. Okay, so after my moisturizer is, you know, settled and done drying, um, if I'm going to use foundation, I don't always use foundation, but if I'm going to use foundation because I'm going out or whatever, what I do is I do the same thing. I press it in the skin, I don't rub it. And this helps keep everything in place, it keeps things from moving around, and it gives, a, it gives you a much better result. So I take my foundation, and again, for the under the eye part, I press. I don't rub. I just press it in, it absorbs really nicely over my moisturizer and over Sia bags and it settles in without giving me any whiteness or any flaking. And it works, for, for me it works every single time really nicely that way. So follow these tips for your, um, for your application of any kind of product over Sia bags and I think you'll be really happy with the results. Let us know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.